Y'all, I, I, walk one. It's your boy, Jeton, Legendary. And we on Genghis Kong. Why? Well, because recently, during a live stream, someone asked, Hey, I need some more Protection Warrior PvP on single player project, baby. So here we are, Protection Warrior. I got two characters I'm going to be running, though. We got Genghis, and then we're going to hop on Navega, okay? Because there are two different types of protection. Genghis here is a power build. All he has is strength. Now, normally when I do an AP, uh, a power build, it's typically AP, but the reason I went with strength is because it gives a little bit of parry. Or block volume, not parry. Uh, block volume. So, boom. 15% block, which makes him nice and tough. Okay, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell, share with your people, join Legendary Clan, support the channel, become Legendary. And the Vega, on the other hand, she is a... She's tanky, tanky. She is all dodge, all parry, all block, all health build. Where he is, you know, he's on go mode, he's on attack, super damage, and whatnot. Power build. Which is, a. Uh, typically not the best idea for pvp if you're not playing a rogue or a feral druid because you always will have the upper hand as you can get the opener on anything and anyone but warriors are typically tough enough to be able to pull it off and not have too many issues because they can eat a whole lot of damage um in comparison to most other classes outside of other plate wearers of course where you got your paladin and your death knight but other than that uh you know power builds are very specific set of gear that you should be using the most gym slot capable items you can get your hands on really ain't nobody fearing me get away from me what the fuck i still got feared why is that all the way up there Oh my goodness. That protection, uh, that protection capability out here, boy. Of course, we got what's the name, so we can, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Interrupt people for three seconds straight. Goodness. You know what I mean? You gotta have that shield bash. It'll interrupt someone from being able to cast an ability in that pool for six seconds. I think it's three seconds in PvP, or is it still six seconds in PvP as well? I think the splitting, I think, I think I'm thinking of, a uh, of extension. Which I have not been on there in a long time. I know there's a few people who subscribe for extension videos, but you gotta understand, man. Me and private servers don't do that well a lot of the times. Why? Because I've been on so many private servers where they always just end up disappearing. And I put in so much work just for them to go away. And the problem I have with extension is, as fun as it is... I've just been falling back in love with, you know, retails and stuff like that. What the fuck? Where you come from? I can't let you cast that, man. You know, I've been falling back in love with, uh... No healers allowed. How does, uh, how does, uh, how does my what's name keep missing? You know what I mean? I've been falling back in love with Retail and Retail Classic. I'm almost level 80 over there. I'm level 76 now. I'm, I'm climbing the ropes. You know? I, I, that's what I'm That's what I'm trying to get back into. So I know there's a lot of people who wanted to see Extension, but the problem is, too, <clears throat> I'm a PvPer. I've always been a PvPer. The problem with Extension is I do not understand. I just accidentally disarmed a caster. I do not understand the PvP over there anymore. Oh, my goodness. It is, uh, it is all too confusing. It's like one moment, you know, at the time when I used to PvP the most, it, uh, it, okay, I'm, I'm getting fucking, I just, I got, uh, everybody named mine was on me. And yeah, of course, it's a bunch of dang casters. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm a PvPer, so. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you just gonna watch this many minutes of the video, and you ain't even gonna hit the subscribe button? That's crazy to me. Subscribe right now, man. Let's get back into the video. The problem with extension is I have no clue and not the slightest understanding of how PvP works over there anymore. Last time I tried to do a PvP battle, I was actually absolutely holding this man down, outplaying the crap out of him. Just for him to, uh, you know, laser me in like two abilities with the most absurd damage I've ever seen while I was getting practically none. 
and you know somebody was like you should be in a full set of pvp gear i'm like well uh, i i am <laughs> i'm in a full set of pvp gear my pvp power is maxed out i don't think i can get any more and uh he killed me in like like three hits and uh anytime i get pvp like that it, it feels too fun server like and fun server pvp if you never did fun server pvp is some of the worst pvp known to mankind because it's just people uh you know you hit two abilities and you insta kill somebody that's no fun okay, that's that's no fun i don't want to do that <laughs> and that's exactly what happened i'm sitting here holding this man down at ease he could not he could not outrun me he could not get a cast out for the the, the two times i interrupted him but at the same time i'm getting practically zero damage so of course i'm, I'm still getting killed the fuck oh, why is my joint backwards You out here, Stacy? You out here, Stacy? Why is my Berserker joint right there? I never put that there. That's an odd place to put that. Thing priest! Oh! God dog it. I never put this right here, though, so I'm not sure why these are backwards like that. That's confused the crap out of me. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, as much as I wanted to play on Extension. I farmed up 5,000 gold to get a loot bot, and then after that I was like, you know what? All that time I took farming that gold, I could have been on real Warcraft making uh, gold for my characters, you know, something that's actually going to last. We know for a fact that Warcraft ain't going anywhere any dang time soon, so the fact that I just did that was kind of a waste realistically. Stun locked by protection warrior. Protection for you. Get off me. Put that bullcrap on me. I'm getting seduction spammed. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I'm about to say we got people going lumber mill. Uh uh. Lumber mill is mine and mine only. Nobody takes lumber mill. Not while I'm around. <laughs> Freaking smacked. I love Protection Warrior so much. I wanted to do a Protection Paladin, but my understanding for the Protection Paladin is not high enough. I was trying to do it. I only had like 7,000 mana. I was running out of mana so fast. I'm like, ooh, shoot. I'm clearly doing something wrong. I don't think I have a full set of uh, Protection Paladin gear. I think I got Protection Warrior gear. My mana is near inexistent. Roaming around with no health, I see. Oh, shoot. He just lost the base. Oops. I meant to hit what's the name. Oh. Oh, wow. That was fast. Well, there you go, folks. Some protection. <laughs> some protection warrior work. I am about to hop on the next protection warrior, Nevega. Okay. And, and, and see how she handles in comparison. Now, like I said, she's more of a survival build. So, I'm expecting a lot more survival, but a bit less damage. But overall, it's still a protection warrior at the end of the day, so I'm still I'm, I'm expecting some uh some hefty damage output still. It's been your boy Jadon Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good. Either way, you watched it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Share with your people. I'm out. <laughs>